Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create multiple reports from a single pivot table with the Show Report Filter Pages feature. So here I have a simple pivot table that just shows a summary of sales by quarter and by color of my product. And I also have the salesperson up here in the filters area. So this is based on this sales data table here where we just have all this information. I also have this salesperson field with all of my salespeople right here and each transaction that they're responsible for selling. So if we jump back over to our pivot table, we have that salesperson field here up in the filters area, and we can of course filter the entire report for each salesperson right here. Now what the boss wants to see is a sheet for each salesperson. So this report here for each salesperson in the organization, and there are 50 people in this sales organization. So that would require a lot of copy and paste to create all these different pivot tables. And I have an example here of exactly what we're looking for. Here's the end result. We can see down here we have one sheet for each person and each of these pivot tables on these sheets is filtered down for that salesperson. And again, there are 50 sheets in this workbook, so this would take a long time to create. But fortunately, the pivot tables have a feature built into them that makes this process really fast and easy. So I'm gonna jump back to our original workbook here. And if we just select any cell inside of the pivot table, we can go to the Analyze or the Options tab that says Options in Excel 2010 and earlier. And then over here on the left side, right next to the Options button, there's this drop down uh, button here, and we can click Show Report Filter Pages. Just click this option here, and that'll bring up the Show Report Filter Pages window. It's just going to list all of the fields that are in the filters area of the pivot table. Right now we just have the salesperson field here. So we're just gonna keep that selected and then press OK. And what that's going to do is create a sheet in the workbook for each item in this list. So if we click the filter drop down menu here, we can see we have all of our salespeople. These are all the items in that field, the salesperson field, and there's 50 of them. And so that show report filter pages feature has created a sheet in the workbook for each of those items and also applied the filter to filter for that specific person. So this is an awesome feature because with just a click of a button, we've added 50 sheets to our workbook and created a customized report for each person in the organization. Now, it's important to note that this pivot table here, these new pivot tables, are not directly linked to the original pivot table. So if we jump back to the original pivot table, it's at the back of the workbook now on this pivot sheet. If we made changes to the layout here of this pivot table, for example, maybe we put the quarters in the rows area instead or something like this, uh, this particular layout or this uh, pivot table settings are not linked to all of the other sheets. We can see if we jump over to this sheet here for the salesperson, it's still in this layout. So that's just important to note. If you did wanna make some changes and then regenerate all the reports, you can just go ahead and delete all of the sheets here that were created by the pivot table, uh, or I'm sorry, by that feature, the show report filters pages feature, and then uh, regenerate them by going to this original pivot table, and same thing here, go to options, and then show report filter pages. And we also might find it a little more challenging to navigate through this workbook now that it has over 50 sheets in it. It might be a little bit more difficult to scroll through all the sheets down here in the bottom to find a specific salesperson that we're looking for. So my tab hound add-in has a few features that will make this process easier. Once you install the tab hound add-in, the Excel campus tab will appear right here on the ribbon. And then there's this tab hound button over here that will bring up this window. And this just allows us to search for any sheet in the workbook. We can quickly type a search here. So if we're looking for a specific person, maybe I'm looking for uh, Stephanie here. I can start typing the uh, word Stephanie and we can see the uh, list is filtered down for any matching results. Doesn't necessarily have to start with the letters that I've typed. It can also end with those letters or just contain those anywhere. And then once I find the person I'm looking for, I can use up and down arrow keys and then hit enter on the keyboard. And that will take me right to that sheet that I was looking for. 
So TabHound makes it very easy, fast and easy to navigate through workbooks with a lot of worksheets in them. And then it also has another uh, table of contents feature that will be nice for this particular workbook. So if we click the table of contents button here, uh, this allows us to uh, set some options for our table of contents and we'll just quickly create one. And that will add a sheet to the front of the workbook with all these clickable links to all the sheets in the workbook. So here's a list of all the sheets in the workbook here. And if we wanted to jump to one, we can just click any of these links here and that will take us right to that specific sheet in the workbook. So there's a few features of TabHound that'll make it a little easier to navigate large workbooks like this. I'll put a link below the video to where you can learn more about TabHound. But again, this show report filter feature uh, pages feature show report filter pages feature is a very helpful feature that will really allow us to create a bunch of different reports and different views of those reports uh, with the click of a button. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll be happy to help answer them. If you enjoyed that video, there are a few simple things you can do to help me out. If you're watching this video on YouTube, click the like button below the video and leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And please don't forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter to get more tips and tricks that will help you learn Excel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.